Welcome back to our channel. Today I will show you a science fiction film from 2014. Titled Robot Overlords. Watch out for the spoilers. Just enjoy and take care. According to the plot of the film, three years ago some alien robots invaded the Earth, sparking a war, and the aliens eventually win the war. The majority of the people were eliminated, and the survivors are forced to obey the orders given by robots. Some people were also missing. Alien robots imply a condition in which no one will leave their homes. If someone comes out of the house, 10 seconds will be given to come back to their home. If someone does not return to his house in the stipulated time, the aliens will kill him or her. By fixing a device behind human ears. Those robots were keeping an eye on humans. Then a human-like robot is shown. It gives humans the message of robots. It delivers that, we will not harm humans. Our purpose is to just study humans and different things. Once our purpose is completed, we will leave this place forever. Additionally, it also tells that the robots never lie. Then a man is shown who is a drunkard. Coming out of his house he starts blaming the robots. He abuses them because the robots have eliminated his wife. Then a robot arrives there, it gives the man 10 seconds to move inside the house. Instead of going inside, the man abuses robots even more. That robot kills that man, for disobeying its orders. Later that man's son comes out there weeping. Now that robot also gives 10 seconds to that boy to go inside the house. A lady and her son Sean were seeing all this. They yell at that boy to come inside, but he does not comply. When the robot was about to kill that boy. Suddenly a man named Smythe comes there and stops those robots. Actually, Smythe works for those robots, we will discover later how he stopped them. Smythe saves the boy and asks the lady to take care of this boy. For this act, that lady thanks Smythe. Actually, Smythe saves that boy because he likes that lady, who is actually Sean's mother. He does this to impress her. Two friends of Sean are also shown in that house. They were siblings and the boy's name was Nick. They also come downstairs and sit with them. Nick says bad about Smythe when Smythe and Sean's mother were conversing. Hearing these words, Smythe leaves from there. Sean was trying very hard to search for his father. Sean's father was missing from the fight between humans and robots. To search for his father Sean cuts many balls and puts his father's sketch and picks in them. After doing this, he throws those balls to a far distance. Sean also writes that if someone knows about my father do let me know. Eventually, time passes as usual. One day when Sean was repairing the PlayStation with his friends, Nick goes through a strong electric shock. He falls at a far distance because of the shock. Nick is awakened by his sister, she also notices that the device behind Nick's ear is not working. It just gets deactivated. They become happy after seeing this, they come to know about how to deactivate the device. Then they all deactivate their devices with an electric shock. Escaping from the robots they move into a nearby museum. They find chocolates and they enjoy them a lot. While eating, the boy finds a ball there which Sean used to throw. The boy gives that ball to Sean. Seeing it, Sean notices a reply on the sketch, it was written on it that your father is a good human. If you want to know if he is still alive just go to the school, there you will discover everything about your father. Sean decides to go to the school. He asks the other three to go home. Nick says to him, yes you should go to the school and we all will go home. Nick's sister says to Sean that we all will join you. When Nick hears this, he says, no, I love my life and I don't want to die, that's why I am not going anywhere. Nick's sister makes him understand that if it was our father in place of Sean's father, Sean would not leave us alone. After this conversation, they all move to the school together. They see an old man taking some files and was going somewhere. They all chase that old man. They find many files in a room and Sean searches for his father's file in those files. Sean notices a red mark on many people's photos, photos that are marked red implies that they are dead, while others are alive. Sean finally finds his father's file after searching a lot. There wasn't any red cross on his photo, it means that he is still alive. 
when Sean tries to discover where his father was seen last time, then their devices turn on one by one. Many robots arrive there to eliminate them. At the same time, Smythe arrives there and stops those robots. Then he ties all of them with a chain, Smythe asks Sean that how did you turn off the device? Sean doesn't give any reply to him. Smythe takes out Sean's device and places a black device on that device's place. Then he gets Sean ready for a scan. Smythe tells him that with the help of this scan I will discover everything in his mind. With the help of this scan, the wish to stay alive will be eliminated and after some days, the person will die. A massive machine is used for this scan. It takes out the data of humans and completes his wishes at the same time. After this scan, the human feels like he has lived his all life, later the human goes into coma and dies. When Sean hears this, he abuses Smythe. Smythe angrily moves forward to kill Sean. As the machine was on, Smythe feels a jerk. As a result, he falls behind and the machine stops. Sean and his companions run from there. Nick turns on the gases present there resulting in a huge blast. Sean and his companions move into a hotel. They notice that there were a lot of people having a party in the hotel. A man arrives and takes them to a lady while holding them at gunpoint. The lady asks them the same question, how did you deactivate your devices? Then Sean tells to the lady that she should first discover his father later he will tell her how to deactivate those devices. Meanwhile, a deal was struck between them. The lady takes them to a man. Sean asks the man, have you seen my father? The man says to Sean that he has to go to the stream, so that he will get all the answers to his questions. On the other side, Smythe reaches a place along with Sean's mother and some robots. He says to Sean in speaker, Sean your mother is with us. If you want to save your mother come and meet me. Then we see a robot coming to the place where Sean and his companions were hitting. As the robot comes near Sean, Sean gets connected with it. Later, the robot imitates Sean's actions, it was doing the same as Sean was doing. Seeing it, Sean's friends ask him how come he controlled the robot. He says maybe because of the black device. Sean also says I can also save my mother with the help of this robot. After that, they flee to the location where Smythe has summoned them. Reaching there, Sean warns Smythe to hand over his mother to him. Otherwise, I will kill all of you. That's why Smythe brings his mother there. Smythe warns Sean that when you divert your attention that robot will kill you. Then he takes out that robot's battery. Then the robot gets deactivated because of it. They all move in search of Sean's father. Smythe is shown meeting with a mediator and also telling him everything about Sean. A mediator means a robot who just resembles humans. Mediator says to Smythe I want Sean alive. Bring him back as soon as possible. If you will not do this we will also scan you. You know the result of it. Smythe is terrified when he hears this. He takes many robots with him in search of Sean. Actually, the task of mediators is to control all the robots and also to lead their mission. Sean and others reach their destination. There they see writings on massive stones such as where the survivors are and where they can be searched. Sean's mother notices a boy at a far distance. As they move near to that boy, he runs sensing fear. While chasing the boy they reach a place. Some people approach them, holding a bow and arrow in their hands. As Sean notices his father he immediately hugs him. Sean's mother also becomes happy seeing her husband. Then Sean asks his father, where did you go? Sean's father tells after the war all survivors came and hide here so that the robots cannot find them. Smythe also reaches there while chasing them to the place where they all were living secretly. Smythe takes many robots with him to that place. Smythe orders them, give us Sean in return, we will leave you. We will not harm you, then Smythe warns them while showing them a spaceship. If your people do not obey us, this spaceship will make this place lava. With this, you all will be killed. Sean goes to the main spaceship of Alien and controls it. When the mediator notices it, he approaches Sean and says, wow this is really great. Just be a part of us. In return, we will leave all of you. Sean disagrees with him. And he destroys the main spaceship while bombarding it with others. Due to the collapsing of those spaceships, the mediator falls down on Earth. 
Sean escapes to the Earth controlling a robot with ease. After the destruction of the spaceship, all the robots get deactivated automatically. Sean goes to the mediator and deactivates all of the robots present on Earth controlled by the mediator. After that, the mediator also gets deactivated. Before deactivating, it says do remember, this isn't finished yet, we will return. Then it is shown to us that all the robots get eliminated. As a result, all people come out of their houses for celebrations. In reality, Smythe could control the robots as he is also an alien. All the people were relieved when the domination of robots concluded. This is the end of the film.